Now, the cab driver told officers he was waiting for a man he dropped off at the house to pay for his fare. But there was one problem. The van didn't live at the house. Police followed footprints in the snow through several yards. They caught up with the man on Parkwood. has been hurt, but several people in East Lake may have trouble driving to work this morning after a gunman shot out their windshield. The county deputies are left with many questions, like what would drive a Logan man to kill his own family members before turning the gun on himself. Caught stealing on camera not once, but several times. Now police need your help putting an end to the thefts. Take a look at this surveillance picture. Are investigating the robbery of that delivery driver. Just after 11 p.m., the pizza delivery man was robbed at gunpoint. The bodies of two people were recovered overnight. Here's a live look right now at the scene along Brook Park Road near West 48th Street. I'm still working to learn more about the victim's conditions, but so far, here's what I do know. Just before one this morning, two people were thrown from... But not so great news for those of you needing to fill up your gas tank this morning. According to GasBuddy.com, gas prices crept up overnight. For instance, this morning, gas is 343 at the Speedway on West 150th and I-71. That's up 28 cents from yesterday. Good news right now, no major traffic incidents to report, so let's go ahead and take a look at your estimated drive times. You're looking at about a four-minute drive. When Crystal Lulai arrived six hours early to work Saturday, it wasn't for an early morning holiday special. Someone had broken into the shelter. The animal house had been robbed, the whole thing caught on tape. I saw someone bust in the window, the grooming door, and they ran directly to the cash register. When the thief broke through this glass door, one of three security alarms were tripped, signaling Lulai Security Service and Lorain County deputies stationed just minutes away. There was no looking around, there was no nothing directly to you. Their message was clear. The middle class and the working class cannot take it anymore. We have no more to give. Their strength in numbers. Say, this is our house. This is our house. This is our house. More than a thousand demonstrators have showed up to today's rally at the Capitol, holding signs and shouting chants, demanding an end to what they're calling an attack on workers' rights. Union workers from a variety of professions. I'm a teacher in public education. Yeah. Voice their concerns loud and clear, fighting, they say, to protect collective bargaining before it's too late. If you eliminate collective bargaining, then the workers have no voice. And I'm here at the Breslin Center where thousands of Spartan fans are expected to pack in for today's ESPN College Game Day event, a nationally televised game against Illinois tonight that has fans riled up. It's been awesome. We're over up in the top row and still standing up, going crazy. Everybody's excited about the big game tonight. Excitement that's been buzzing since this morning when fans first filled the stadium for an earlier broadcast of the ESPN show. This is one of the big parts of college that not a lot of other schools get to experience. For some fans, it was all about showing their Spartan pride on national TV. For others, it was a chance to get a behind-the-scenes sneak peek. I had to come out and see how it is because like when I just watched it on TV, I would never thought it was like this, but the crowd was just so hyped. 